Okay, here we are. Uh, excited to chat with you today. I'm going to show you how to. I use the Elgato Stream Deck with my mm -hmm, uh, application. Uh, mm -hmm is pretty cool. It's got a lot of really neat features, and I'm going to show some of those to you today. Uh, first things first, I'm going to show you this screen here. This is my uh, Stream Deck, and you can see it's, you know, it doesn't come across too well. So I'm going to hit the next slide button here, and that's going to put me on the right slide for me to switch back to my other view and show you here. So let me go to 60% and let me put on the virtual background. And you can see that I've got these little things up here. Uh, this, this stream deck, this is my board, and you can see what it looks like. The... Uh, the thing on the top right does the different videos. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the actual camera. And uh, this is my second camera, but you can't see it because when you switch between cameras, uh, you know, it takes that virtual thing. So if I put my hand in, you can see where my thumb is. So I'm just going to put it back like that. And I'm just going to show you a couple things. So if I want the video that's coming in to be at 40%, I'll just knock that down here if I want it to be 60% size or if I want it to be 100% size. And these are all settings that I've already set up and they correspond to that top row in the slide up on the right, right up there. Um, if I want to go to the next slide, I can hit this and I can go through a slideshow here, right? Um, and then I'll go back to that picture. So I'm just advancing slides here. And then down here, I can change my background with this button. So now I've got the hexagons, I've got the bookshelf, and I have my own custom lake picture that I, uh, I kind of like. So there's a nice lake picture, and I can turn off the slides by pushing the off button. And I can turn them back on and make them full screen, or I can make them small screen. So let's make this one full screen. This one that's right here up above my head that turns off the slides and then full cycles through the default and the full. And then if I want to share my screen, I can hit the little screen share button down here. And now if I hit the previous slide, here's my desktop screen share going on. You can see all that's happening on there. And we'll go ahead and go back to something that makes a little more sense. So that's how I use it. So let me show you how I uh, how I set it up. Um, what I'm using in the Elgato Stream Deck is the KM Link uh, plugin, which allows me to use Keyboard Maestro. And then if I do share my screen here, let me just uh, take you back here. And is that showing my screen? There it is. Okay, so here's here's my screen here. And you can see that I set up all these different things just by going to the to the screen, to the menus in mm -hmm, and I set all those up and I can, um, these are pretty easy to do. Uh, I just don't like fiddling around on the screen when I'm doing stuff with, uh, when I'm doing streaming and things like that. So I put them all in here. This didn't take me very long. Was able to just pop it all in here pretty easily. So let me go back to this, and you can see that each one of these buttons um, represents some different thing in Keyboard Maestro. So if that's what you're using and uh, that works for you, then that's a great thing to do. I love it. I think it's real handy to be able to do this. And I've also, you know, you can put in even a custom background, and that looks pretty nice also, and in, in, that's from the 4th of July. Good times. So that's how I set all this up. I'll put some links to some of that stuff down below, but um, enjoy this. And uh, if you haven't gotten mm -hmm yet, then you should definitely check it out, especially if you're doing a lot of videos. It's pretty, pretty slick. 